Hi everyone and welcome back. This is the second video that shows how to set up your call center with the WFM wizard. If you remember, this is the last screen of step number one in the settings model. Today I'm going to talk about step number two, FTE and AHT. To go to the second step, we can press the next button. That will save all the changes that we did in the previous step. You can also jump from one step to the other, but that won't save the changes. So I'm going to press the next button. Now in this step, we define the full time equivalent and average end of time information that is used by the WFM wizard to, st to calculate staffing levels. Now this step is very important to do correctly. Here we input the characteristics of your call center. It is important to remember that the output of the software is good as long as the input is accurate. We will start with the FTA components. Full time equivalent components are the additional time increments that are added on the net hours of agents that are required for answering incoming calls. Now WFM Wizard adds this overhead to the net number of agent requires when calculating the weekly staffing requirements. We can see the list of FTE components. You just have to specify the percent for each one out of the total potential, potential working time of a typical agent. Just double click on the cell and enter the percentage. For example, plan appset, I'm going to change it from 5% to 7%. <clears throat> now you can add FTE components by clicking on the plus. You just have to enter the name of the component percentage and enable it in the checkbox. To delete it, we can mark the whole row and click on remove. Now the net column that you see over here is used if you want to specify the component percent out of the gross available time or the net available time. Let me give you an example. Many planners wish to specify unpaid and unplanned absent as net because when they plan a week's schedule, they assume that unplanned absent will occur and their agent's net hours will actually be less than the gross hours and thus should be deducted. Clicking on the sum icon, we will calculate the sum of all the FT components that you have entered. Alternatively, you can enter the total percentage of the uh, FTE overhead. For more information about the default components, you can read our WFM wizard user manual or press the help button. One component that I want to elaborate on is number seven, shift design non-optimality. There's a certain amount of inefficiency that is a native part of any shift design. This is caused by constraints such as minimum hours per shift or maximum number of shifts that start per day and so on. For this reason, this value is added. We have to account for this inefficiency gap. Now, if you are unsure of what value to choose, we recommend you choose 7% as this is a typical value in many call centers. As you work with the WFM wizard, you will understand more about your call center efficiency and what non-optimality values to expect. FTE parameters. In addition to the FTE components, there are two additional parameters for calculating FTE. The first one is breaks. It is the average percentage of break times for agent out of the total gross shift duration. In order to calculate this data, you can calculate actual percentage by summing the duration of breaks during a specific period and dividing this total by the actual gross shift time. The second parameter is FTE hours per week. It's the number of hours in a full-time work week. Typical values are between 35 and 45 hours per week. Let's go forward to the average handle time component. In this area, you specify the amount of time spent handling various tasks for an incoming call. Each of the values is an average value per one call. And each call is related only to incoming calls. This point is very important. I want to give you an example. You can calculate the value for outgoing call 
that are as part of the process of handling an incoming call by summing up the total amount of the time spent on outgoing calls for a certain amount of time and divide by the total incoming calls received in that same time period. These are the default AHT components. You can disable them or not. You can also add more components with the plus button, just as with the FTE components. Clicking on the sum icon will calculate the sum of all the AHT components you entered. Alternatively, if you know the total percentage of the AHT overhead, you can enter the total AHT into the sum area without entering each specific component. The last part is called skills. If different call types in the call center are transferred to specific agents with relative skill sets, these call types or skills are defined in this area. You can define up to five skills. In this area, over here, we have to define the skill name, the percentage of this type of calls out of the total daily incoming calls, and the AHT, the average handling time for each of the type calls or skills. This concludes the second step. In order to save and go to the next step, we're going to press on the next button. I just want to thank you for your patience. We know that you will find it simply and friendly to use. For any further questions, please write to support at wfmwizard.com.